Are you struggling in a relationship where you feel undervalued and underappreciated? Maybe you're single but looking to feel more love from those around you. Or perhaps you are craving self-love and self-acceptance. Regardless of how you wish to experience it. In today's video, you will learn my top tips to help you feel more loved starting today. 1. Open up. Opening up about your feelings can be really tough. If you are in a relationship where you don't feel loved, the first step should always be to let your partner know how you are feeling. They can't help you if they don't know. If you are single this is just as important. If you meet someone who takes your fancy, don't shy away from your feelings. Be honest, be open with who you are, and let others into your world. Being heard is the first step to feeling truly loved. 2. Take people off the pedestal. If you are reading this article because you are wanting to feel more love from a specific person, here's a tip. Take that person off that damn pedestal. You should never hold anybody else's worth higher than your own. You are worthy of feeling loved. If you are giving love but not receiving it then it's time to reassess the situation you're in. Because we are all human. Nobody is above any other. And if this person is not meeting you halfway, it might be time to realign yourself with those who share your views and standards on love. Trust me, there are so many great people out there who will shower you with all the love and appreciation you deserve. Remember, the only person who is worthy of your love is the person who can appreciate just how incredible you are. 3. Love yourself. When you generate the feeling of being in love with yourself, you will find loving friendships and relationships will fall into place naturally. Look at yourself in the mirror and say how would I show this person before me that I love them? And then start to take those positive actions. The things you might do for someone else in a loving relationship. Do those things for yourself. Things like Pampering yourself with relaxation treatments. Speaking to yourself with kindness. Taking action on things that make you feel good. Being patient with yourself and accepting without judgment. Letting go of anything, and anyone, that makes you feel invaluable. Creating positive habits that will improve your quality of life. Celebrating your growth, no matter how big or small the achievement. Making your own happiness a priority. I know it can be annoying to hear the term self-love thrown around and never really knowing how to love yourself. But when you start to see yourself in the same light that you would a loved one, you can begin to restructure the way that you treat yourself. In time you will naturally begin to generate feelings of self-love and this feeling will, in turn, attract more of itself into your reality. Before long you will find loving friendships, relationships, and situations will simply flow into your life with ease. 4. Love others. What if I told you that one of the best ways to receive feelings of love is to give it out relentlessly? According to the law of attraction, when we emit the thoughts and emotions of love out into the universe, we attract that same feeling back into our lives. The phenomenon is also known as homophily in psychology circles. Basically, it's been proven that human beings attract people who share similar thoughts and feelings. So if you are a loving person, you will attract loving people into your reality. Birds of a feather flock together. Emit the vibration of love out into the world whenever there is an opportunity to do so. Show love in your relationships with friends and family or even pets and animals. In return, you will naturally manifest a life full of love, warmth and nurturing. 5. Be accepting of the standards of others. The only thing that can ever hurt you is your own expectations. If somebody doesn't share the same standards as you, don't waste your time on being angry or hurt. Simply accept that they are entitled to their own standards and if that isn't in alignment with your own feelings, let them go. You can't change people and it's unfair to try and do so. For example, say you have a crush on someone who is really bad at texting back. And texting back quickly is something that is important to you. Is it really worth your time, energy and happiness trying to pursue someone who doesn't meet the same standards as you? You might blame them for not meeting your expectations but in reality. Their standards are just as valuable as your own. Neither of you are right or wrong in your own expectations but you are different. And if a compromise cannot be made then the best action is to let go in full acceptance that your standards are just not matching up. If you keep trying to force your own expectations on someone else you will end up feeling unloved. Recognize when something is not working and prioritize your own happiness. There are plenty of people out there who do share your views and expectations. 6. Visualize. If you want to feel more loved, one of the most powerful ways to do so is to use the art of visualization. Experience the situation you desire through the mind's eye. Envision yourself being loved. 
Imagine a scenario where you're happy in an incredible relationship that fulfills your every desire. And as you daydream, let that emotion build up inside you. Focus on the feelings you generate from this practice. How does it feel to be loved? Let your heart be filled with warmth and connection. Remember, like attracts like so whenever you can generate a feeling on your own, that feeling sends a signal out into the universe that draws a matching outcome into your reality. If you can see it in your mind you can hold it in your hand. Let the act of visualization help you to feel loved and in turn attract more love into your life.